Welcome to Tom's Tech Notes. This video shows how to replace the audio of a complete video or only part of the audio in a video using PowerDirector's Voice Over Recording Room. Welcome to Tom's Tech Notes. This YouTube video is part of playlist How to Make Home Videos on YouTube channel Tom's Tech Notes. Videos in the playlist should be watched in order from the playlist page. Here are the URLs for the playlist, the channel, and my computer help website. You can also find a channel by searching for TOMSTDA. If they are visible on your device, you can visit the channel by clicking my name, Thomas Wallace, or my picture, or by clicking one of the links. This video shows how to edit the audio within a camera recorded video to add a narration or to change or delete an existing narration. It also gives tips for adjusting the audio output levels for both the parts of the video and the entire video. In PowerDirector, audio editing is done in the voice over recording room. Here's an example video of my drone taking off from my driveway. It was recorded with a camera mounted on a tripod and all the camera recorded was the sound of the drone motor. Here's how to use the voiceover room to add a narration to the video. Click the microphone to move to the voiceover recording room. Always make sure that this pointer is set to 100. Back it up to the beginning. Now the preparation for the narration. I suggest you Play the video several times. Use a text editor to come up with a proposed narration. When you finish writing the narration, read it and record it as the video plays. You'll find this much easier to do if you use two monitors. Have the narration written on one monitor while you're editing on the other monitor. If you check or uncheck the boxes to the left of the timeline, that part of the track will either play or not play. To start or stop recording the narration, press the red button to the right of the number 100. The narration will appear opposite the microphone in the lower part of the display. Here's the original video played with a new narration. Here's a video of my drone taking off from my driveway. Notice the narration is a little too long for the video and that causes the screen to go dark. If the narration is too long or too short, you can rewrite the narration and record it again, or you can adjust the length of the video. Here's how to stretch the length of the video. Select the video and drag the right edge until it coincides with the right edge of the recorded narration. To replace the original audio, just select and drag the recorded narration onto the audio track in the video. Then select Overwrite. That will just replace the audio and leave the video unchanged. Now we have replaced the existing sound of the motor with the new narration that we have recorded. Here's what the finished video looks like. Here's a short video of the drone taking off from in front of my house. The technique for replacing part of the video is slightly different than the technique for replacing all of the video. In this example, there is video preceding the section we need to change and following that section. Use the techniques we've mentioned in earlier videos to put splits around just the part you need to change. I've done that in this video and the section that we need to change is right here. It's hard to get the, the length of the changed narration just right to fit over what's already there. So the simplest way to do that is to s separate the audio and video. You right click and you select link or unlink. That lets you select just the audio part to delete it. Then press the delete key and say leave gap because you don't want to scoot anything over. You'd use the voiceover feature we've just discussed to record a narration to replace the part we just deleted. 
you go to the voiceover room, check this so if your narration is too long, you won't hear the old narration also, and then click the button to record your narration. This is new narration in the example showing how to replace just the audio in a section of a video, and this one is too long. So I deliberately recorded a narration that's slightly too long for the gap, and I'll show you why there's a gap there. Drag it up into the gap, make the left edge coincide with the end of the with the start of the gap, and release. If you get an option to overwrite, that means the the new audio is too long for the gap. And it would overlap existing audio in the rest of your video. So you click elsewhere, you don't select anything. You re-record it so that it's shorter. Or if it's only slightly too long, you can click on it and squeeze it by dragging the edge to the left. And when you get it so it will fit, then you drag it up. You could also just re-record and change the narration until you got one the right length. Once it is short enough, click and drag it up. When you're clicking, you want to make sure that the hand is shown before you press the button. Drag it up. You did not get an option to overwrite. That means it did fit in the gap. If the replacement audio is slightly shorter than the gap, that's fine. All that will do is give you a slight moment of silence in the video. I think you'll find it easier to do it if you first separate the audio video and then get rid of the old audio, then record your new audio, and then drag it into the gap using the method I just showed you. Here are some additional tips for adjusting the audio in your home video before publishing it. I just finished assembling the pieces of my video and I added a, an introduction. And I noticed when I played it that the volume of the introduction doesn't quite match the volume of the rest of the video. Listen to how the last part of the introduction sounds compared to the next part the of the audio video in a video using PowerDirector's Voice Over Recording Room. Welcome to Tom's Tech Notes. Notice the volume jumped when it got to the page that's on there now. There are several ways to adjust the volume. You could use the normalize function in the mixing room of PowerDirector. Sometimes that will reduce the volume of the rest of the video to match the lower volume at this piece. That's not what I want to do. I want to raise the volume of this piece. Now, this, the way to do that, first of all, you might want to expand the display to make it easier. So drag the circle to the plus. Remember, we're going to raise the volume of this section. Click near the beginning of the section, as close as you can get on this line that you see right below the waveform. When you do it correctly, You'll create a dot there. You can drag that dot to change the volume of the clip. If there's only one dot at the beginning of the clip, this raising this up will raise the volume of the entire clip. Drag that end of the clip so that the volume is about the same as it is over here just by comparing the waveforms. If the clip only had one dot after you put that one on there, then dragging that single dot will increase the volume of the whole clip. If there were more dots along, like this on the clip, you would have to drag each one, otherwise you'd get a slope in the volume from one dot to the next, and you'd have to drag all the dots up to the same level. But that didn't happen here. So what you should do now is play the last part and the overlap again to see how well the volumes are now matching. So let's move it over. Let's listen Our director's voice over recording room. Welcome to Tom's Tech Notes. They're pretty close. Sounds like I could have made it very slightly uh, more volume on this side, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's close enough. Now that's one way to adjust the volume, maybe a single part of the video before you produce it. And like I said, you could use the normalize function in the voiceover room to 
even out automatically all the clips in in the video but sometimes that reduces the level when you didn't want to reduce the level another way to increase the volume of the whole video is to drag this audio gain control that is highlighted for track one audio one track one drag it to the right to increase the volume of the whole video on that track or drag it to the left to decrease it. You can do that. You can do some other fancy things that we're not going to go into right now. Now some of the functions don't always seem to work the way you would expect them to work. I, I have tried to increase the volume of an entire video by just cranking this control all the way to the right, right and then producing the video. Sometimes that does not seem to do anything to the volume. And I've researched it on the internet, and the suggestion is kind of, kind of a neat suggestion. You select the entire audio portion of the video, and that's a little difficult to do when there's a whole bunch of clips. The ones that are linked, you can tell because the line between the audio and the video section is dark when they're unlinked, and it's almost invisible when they are linked. So let's unlink the ones that are linked. Right click. Link on link, right click, link on link, right click, link on link. Now the sections are unlinked and I'll be able to select the entire audio portion of the video. And we'll do that. Now what you can do, you can copy it, control C, click down on another track, paste it in with control V, I say that I've shifted it, but I will fix that in a second. And you can even do it another time. Click another track, paste it in again. Now, of course, we've got to move this over to the left so that they're all lined up. Be careful when you're dragging. Make sure you have a hand showing before you drag. Okay, everything's lined up. Now, what happens when you produce this video the three audio tracks get added together to make the video louder. And that does always seem to work, whereas some of the other features for increasing the audio of a single track video don't always seem to work right. If I, played, if I, re, if I produce this video and play it back, I will find that the volume of the whole video is considerably louder than the original video. So keep that technique in mind if you need to make if you've accidentally made a video that's too low volume and you want to increase it and maybe try the other method first dragging the this slider on the in the uh, mixing room to, to, to make it louder but and then producing it but if that doesn't seem to work this technique will work make, if if it's a fresh video that you're starting to edit there won't be any separations there won't be any splits between the sections It'll be very easy to unlink the single piece, then copy the single piece of audio down to the other tracks. So try making two, produce it. If it's not loud enough, produce it, add another track, produce it again. That will definitely make it louder. So you might want to use that technique to make videos louder if they're not loud enough. I don't know where the problem is in making them louder. I don't know if it's a Windows interaction or a PowerDirector interaction in the audio, but somewhere along the line, Sometimes you can't make the, the videos louder when you think you're doing it right. In some later videos, we'll get into more details as to what you can do to spiff up your home videos and avoiding overwriting the rest of the video. To visit my channel page, Tom's Tech Notes, please search for T-O-M-S-T-D-A or if they're visible in the window, click my name, Thomas Wallace, or my photo, or click one of the links.